All right, guys, it is the beginning of week six. It's nice outside. It's probably in the low 60s already this morning. It's only about 11.30. But we're gonna see if we can find some snakes. All right, guys, there's a couple of painted turtles right there. If I can find them with my viewfinder here. Oh yeah, right there on that log. And there's another couple of heads sticking up out there. Terrible look at them. Hopefully we can find one closer and maybe even catch it. That is not what that is. <laughs> We're walking this trail along the swamp, hoping to see something I'm basking. This cloud cover is annoying. It's a little too dense. The sun was out when we got here, but it's starting to suck behind the clouds. Still no snakes. I'm back in the parking lot, and here's the first turf I've been able to get anywhere near today. Almost stepped on him, green and all. He's got a little bit of a, I'm gonna help you out with that that shed issue right there. Oh, he does not. All right, we're about to head to the next spot. Since this one seems to be a bust, and no, I can't flip these cross ties, they're nailed down, which sucks. All right, guys, check this out. Eastern fence lizard, first one I've seen this year. What? <laughs> what? Pretty good looking one. Nice, reflective metallic belly. We're gonna take some pictures of this guy and let him go. Next herp of the day, a little redback salamander under this log. Gotta put him back right here real quick. Keep moving. All right guys, next find. This little marbled salamander under a log right next to the slimy. Pretty cool. We're gonna put this guy back. All right guys, so last time I came to this spot, I put this cross tie right here. I moved it, it was like down there, kind of in a crappy spot. I moved it up here. It's already got a marbled salamander under it. Pretty cool, but we're just gonna put this guy down and keep looking, see if we can find a snake. Another adult marble salamander, young adult in CT. Gonna put his log back down gently. Flip that one. There's a marble. There's two of them. Nice. Three. Got another one in the hole. Good log. I'm gonna have to pick these guys up so they don't get squished. Oh, there's a slimy salamander on top of that other marble, too. You see him? I didn't see him. <laughs> That's a good flip look. All right, here's a look at all the critters that were under that log. We had to move them to put it down, but pretty good flip. There's another marble under that one right there. All right, guys, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there's like millions of yellow jackets right there flying around. I don't know what's got them stirred up. They're coming kind of close to me and I don't want to piss them off. So I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> They're really pissed off. Well, that one's not happy with me. <laughs> wow, they just go. I mean, they're all the way even up to here. They're flying around me right now too. They I haven't gotten stung yet, thankfully. Holy crap. That's terrifying. I don't know how well it's gonna come out on video, but they're there. Hey guys, how's this video look? Cause I'm recording from my brand new iPhone 10 Max. It's kind of mind blowing. It looks way better on my display. You can see every flaw in my skin. Anyways, um, just picked this thing up, my old iPhone just dipped on me. Just stopped working completely, I wouldn't charge, everything sucked, you know, as they do when a new iPhone comes out. So I picked this guy up, and I'm about to go herping instead of fiddling on my brand new phone. So let's go see what we can find. All right guys, just pulled up to a new spot I've never hurt before. It's a little nature park out here. Um, it's not too far from my house. Uh, so hopefully it'll turn out to be pretty good and I can come check it out often. Uh, there's definitely king snakes here, so that's what I'm hoping to see today but the habitat looks good for a bunch of other stuff too. So let's get at it. Oh yeah. 
that's always a good sign when you're out at a new spot. Big beware of snake sign right on the first trailhead. God, the video on this thing looks great. I might not even have to upgrade my camera. Your first herp at a new spot's always exciting. It's a little redback salamander. I was kind of expecting to see these guys here flipping logs, but I mean, confirmation's nice. Ah, he's trying to jump out of my hand. I'm gonna let this guy go. So the camera, like the selfie camera on this is not as wide as I was hoping it'd be. So it's hard to kind of walk and record without seeing every detail in my face. But yeah, it looks good at least. This place is freaking awesome. Look at this rock. And right there at the base of that is like where you'd expect to see a timber or a pygmy coiled up. I keep looking. In C2. A nerf dart. Someone had an epic battle out here. So my game plan for the day, it's two o'clock now and I only have a couple hours, but I'm just gonna walk this power line edge, um, flip logs, check stump holes, get good looks at the, uh, you know, the habitat here for next time. I'll probably come back in once it's actually springtime. Even though it's 70 degrees today, I don't have very high hopes of seeing much considering how the past two days have went, but we'll see. I found a big ass building out here. Thinking it's abandoned. Hoping it's abandoned. We're gonna find out. Spooky, spooky. There's a bathroom. Bored. Walk the perimeter, see if there's anything to flip. A little redback salamander in C2, right in the trail under a rock. I'm gonna move this guy, put his rock back, and keep moving. The green and knoll. Look at this habitat, though. Freaking incredible looking, and no snakes to be seen, hardly anything besides salamanders, redback salamanders, and a couple of lizards. There's a big fence lizard. I only found a snake. Really nice red-bellied water snake. He was down here by this creek. I'll take some pictures of him and let him go. I'll get a little bit more Just better. Look at this water snake and tell he's pretty good size. Not huge, but nice size adult. Really good looking snake though. Look at that. These things are beautiful. My favorite Nerodia for sure. But look at that face and that nice orange color. It's glossy olive kind of. Oh. <laughs> Try not to get bit here. I got to go to work. I'm already covered in snake musk. Yeah, super nice looking snake. Glad I finally got on the board today. But let's see if I can hold him up in the light. Still out here on this power line, there's a creek down there. Oh yeah, what a nice looking snake. Super glad I found this guy. But I'm probably gonna get out of here pretty soon and if I find anything else, I'll check in again. This thing's belly. That nice olive transition right there. Really nice looking water snakes. He's calmed down a lot too. Pretty easy to handle. Don't have to worry about getting chomped on. Really nice looking snake. Keep moving. See if I can find anything on this guy back over the creek. I'm just gonna set him down and let him do his thing. It's right where I found him. Let's see if I can find anything else. Look at that, underwater. He's going up under the bank, I think. It's an interesting find. There's a box turtle shell right there in this brush pile. Kind of weird. But I've gone a little further, still haven't seen anything besides that water snake. So, keep at it. This place is awesome looking though. Just wish it was more productive. All right guys, I'm headed back to the car. It's been a pretty good day. Didn't see as much as I would have liked, but could have went worse. So, I'm gonna get out of here. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go to a decently good spot again. And uh, I'll flip this rock real quick. Nothing. Decently good spot. Hopefully be able to turn up a king snake finally. I've never had this hard of a time turning up a king snake even in the middle of winter. But hopefully that'll change tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, definitely the next day. All right guys, so the first order of business today, 
is to find a spotted dusky salamander at this spot so that I can submit the county record. After taking some diagnostic photos of the features, it can identify it. Um, and then after that, I'm going to go to a different spot, meet up with Zach and Rob, and hopefully turn up some snakes. And it took too long, but I got what I came here for. Spotted dusky salamander. And get some diagnostic photos of this guy and head on to the next spot. Alright guys, we're out here at this next spot. Just met up with Zach, flipping the log right there. And uh, we're gonna flip some tin and hike some habitat and see if we can turn anything up. Fire ants, okay, my hands are right in those guys. Alright, we just found this little earth snake right here. Zach's taking a couple pictures of it. Same one I found the other day, so we're just gonna take a couple quick shots and keep moving. The snaking kind of sucks, but I don't know if you guys can hear that, if my phone will pick it up, but there is a lot of mountain chorus frogs calling down in the area that I was in in one of my last videos. So Rob's going to meet us up here and we're going to dip down in there and see if we can find some. Getting closer. Well, it took a while, but we finally found one. Mountain chorus frog. Not too much to look at, but they're cool looking little frog. They have a really cool call and really cool habits. So we're gonna take some pictures of this guy and put him back in his pool right here real quick. It's on fix for you for like 100 bucks? Yeah, you could send it to Canon and get it fixed for 100 bucks. Yeah. All right guys, here's another little mountain course frog. Oh. oh God, this one might get away. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool looking frog. I'm gonna take some pictures of these guys and let him go. There he goes. One last look at this mountain chorus frog before we call it a day here. Got some plans for tomorrow. I'm gonna go out and herp again, so I will see you guys then.